top general fires back at offensive criticism of military being woke. So the mere allegation that the military is woke, in his opinion, is very offensive. Mark Milley's comments are some of the most pointed in defense of the military, which has come under heavy criticism from Republican lawmakers and right-wing personalities. So the accusation is that the military has gotten too woke. This institution that murders civilians around the globe, it's totally woke, and that's the biggest issue, according to Republicans. Yeah. Uh, you know, my criticisms of the military are absolutely vast and comprehensive, but the military being too woke, that's like very, very bottom of my priorities. The military's top officer on Wednesday pushed back against GOP lawmakers who said the Pentagon's efforts to combat racism and promote diversity have made the armed forces too woke. So that's literally what they're mad about, that they're promoting diversity. Is that truly the hill that they want to die on here? Joint, Joint Chiefs Chair General Mark Milley gave a fiery defense of open-mindedness in the ranks during a House Armed Services, Armed Services hearing, saying he's offended at the accusation that those efforts have undercut the military's mission and cohesiveness. Milley, who was testifying alongside Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin at a hearing on the defense budget, was responding to a pair of Republican lawmakers arguing the Pentagon had embraced critical race theory. Wow. So that's the allegation, such as its inclusion in some courses at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. I love how, like, folks like Lloyd Austin, who literally came from the defense industry, profiteered off of, you know, uh, death and destruction— he gets to look like the good guy because Republicans are so stupid that they're making this like the biggest issue. Oh, well, you want greater diversity in the military? You're teaching courses that include critical race theory? That's the biggest issue. Like, great way to give them cover. Like, Republicans think that they're playing 9D chess, but actually they're playing checkers and there's not even any pieces on the board. I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military of being woke or something else because we're studying some theories that are out there, Millie said. I mean, the hysteria over critical race theory is so stupid. Critical race theory, for those of you who don't know, was basically catapulted to the national scene because of one dude. And uh, they tried to make critical race theory a thing back in, I think it was like 2012. And there's a really long and comprehensive article about this in The Nation that talks about the guy who made critical race theory a thing. But basically, it all stemmed from his interview on Tucker Carlson, where he fear-mongered about critical race theory. Donald Trump watched that interview. He then uh, tweeted about it. And then, you know, everything else from there is, is history. Now, critical race theory is the biggest threat to American society since... Um, the Cold War. I mean, I don't even know. It's just, it, it's absurd. Um, and in five months, they'll move on from critical race theory. It will be something else. I'm already sick of hearing about it. Critical race theory is not this widespread thing that's being taught. And even if it was, that's not an issue. Uh, they have skewed critical race theory to the point where they're, they're characterizing it as, well, critical race theory teaches you that white people are evil, which is just a moronic thing to say. That's not what critical race theory is. If you actually look at the core tenets of critical race theory, um, if you have a brain, it's not controversial at all. It's basically the study of systemic racism, right? And it, that's an oversimplification, but it's not it's not a big deal. That's that's the main point. Critical race theory is not controversial. But to Republicans, this is like their go-to thing because it hits a little bit uh, better than using the word, uh, you know, political correctness. That's kind of outdated. Cancel culture, you know, they kind of uh, warm, uh, worn out the welcome with that. So now it's critical race theory. But all of that backstory uh, was needed so we can watch this article. Now, her motivations, you know, they're they're idiotic. It's It's fueled by hysteria and misinformation but what she says here listen carefully folks um i could get behind this uh this recommendation we are sending our tax dollars to this military to in an attempt to weed out so-called extremists which just means conservative evangelical as far as i can tell uh we're paying for that why, why is Congress not saying we're not going to give you a penny until all of this is eradicated from the military budget? Nothing. This is my offer to you. Nothing. That's what I would say.
I'm, I'm, to I'm totally outraged by him and, and his, his ridiculous, ridiculous response. response today. Today. Sorry, Congressman. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Laura Ingram essentially saying, let's defund the military. You know what, Laura? Hell yeah, I'm on board for this. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Anderson says, defund the military. That's what she's arguing. Look, she said it, folks. I didn't say it. She said it. All right. We can agree there. I don't agree with your reasoning, Laura, but I agree with the idea that we should defund the military. Um, and, and I love, like, look at the framing here. General Milley embarrasses himself with woke rant. She's acting as if, like, he dyed his hair blue when he went on this, like, anti-SJW rant. He literally said, it's offensive that you're saying that the military is woke. Um, I, I mean, Fox News will take the most benign story and skew it and make it seem super nefarious. Uh, but I mean, if she wants to defund the military, if all of this will amount to, uh, to conservatives calling to defund the military. I can't be mad, folks. <laughs> I can't be mad at that um, because I've been saying for a while at a minimum, the military budget should be cut in half. But I mean, if we're being realistic here, it should be cut by like 75 percent. So if conservatives in their hysteria are going to somehow argue themselves out of the hawkishness that they usually express and advocate for defunding the military, great. Absolutely great. Yeah, look at the smirks on their faces as uh, Governor Cause says. I love this. I love this story. Ideas. 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 Ideas.